everyone. I, sorry about my English, it's not so good. <laughs> um, okay, uh, my name is Vera Dimitrov, as Bruno told. I'm a master in uh, political and economic law. And also I work since uh, 2013 with uh, migration rights uh, here in Brazil. I work at the um, uh, mayor with mayor in the uh, Sao Paulo city. And after I started to work in a, a non-government organization that is a uh, fight for the immigrant rights, rights here in Brazil. So I, I will talk about the impacts of the labor reform and the new immigrant law here in Brazil and uh, on immigrant workers. So I start talking about uh, the, it's very important I contextualize the, the, the law of immigration here because it have a change uh, last year and it's very important because this change on, leg on legislation uh, affects directly the labor rights here in, uh, for immigrants. So, uh, in 2015 we started a process, a legislative process, to change the immigrant law here in Brazil. It's not a process that became from the legisla uh, legislative, from the deputies or from the senators. It's a process that became with the participation of the society, uh, civil society here in Brazil. Uh, so, in 2015, uh, cre the our parliament created a special commission to discuss the a new immigrant law here in Brazil. And uh, in 2017, last year, uh, you, ha uh, you have the... Uh, promulgação. Launch. Huh? The launch. The launch of the, the law. The law is very uh, progressive because uh, all political articulation all participation in civil society uh, was in the m walking with a progressive way of, migra uh, of view migration. So um, we have uh, advances like uh, in the last law uh, is prohibited to immigrants uh, have political participation or is prohibited to, was prohibited to migrant. Um, create an association, for example. So, in, the, in this new law, you have a total change of view. It's a view for human rights, for um, political, part, uh, allowed political participation of immigrants, because the foreigner statute, the last law, was of um, a military period here in Brazil, and the, the view is like, uh, you have to achieve the objectives of um, Brazilian society, the objectives of um, political view of Brazil, the objectives of Brazilian economic, because it's very uh, linked with the labor market, the, the foreign st statute. So the, the immigrant law, um, this new law, have a little bit change of this view, but uh, it's very linked with the labor rights. Uh, of immigrants. So uh, we have, for example, here in Brazil, uh, two million, uh, almost two million immigrants. The data is from the Ministry for Justice. And uh, it's not very accurate, this data, because you, ha you don't have here in Brazil a uh, unified um, control of the data for immigrants, of, uh, I don't know, uh, if, you, if you take the data from the labor minister, you have some numbers of immigrants. If you take the data of IBGE, you have other numbers. If you take the data from the Minister of Justice, you have another number. It's, like, it's very crazy, the data about the immigrants in Brazil. So, uh, what is important that changed for uh, immigrants in this new law? Uh, not not only the view of this law, but uh, this law 
uh, allowed the immigrants uh, join the unions. That's not that's prohibited with the Foreign Institute. So now it's allowed that uh, immigrants could could have the affiliation join the the unions, the labor unions. It's very good, uh, but to have a lot of problems here, because uh, when do you... sorry, I forgot the word, promulgação. Sorry. Promulgate or to launch the law. When you have to launch the law, you have a decree to um, regulate uh, the articles of the law. This decree uh, is very dangerous for the law because they change the meaning of the of this law. So, uh, for example, for you have a familiar union here in Brazil, now you have a process that maybe can uh, took apart the child from the parent. Yes, because. It, for example, if you have a kid that came to Brazil without his parents, the process to have the family reunion is not um, clear in this decree. And more than that, uh, this process is uh, without the public minister that is by law, by constitution, obligated to uh, watch the children's rights. So you don't have this. Uh, and for uh, labor uh, law, uh, rights, uh, the decree that uh, from a minister of, the, of labor, because, ah, before, I have to explain something. Uh, in, the last, in the old law, uh, the Foreign Institute, you have the minister of labor have the control of uh, immigrant policies here in Brazil. So the immigrant, uh, the minister of labor, have a council, council of immigrants, that uh, they, they, in the old statute, they made all the re re uh, regulation, all the regulation of the visa, of the rights, of the a lot of um, things and uh, regulations to daily life of immigrant. So, with the new law, you don't have only the Minister of Labor, but now you have the Minister of Labor, the new minister created in the Tamer government, uh, the Minister of the Public Security, and the Ministry of uh, Foreign Relations. So, you have these three uh, ministers uh, to, re to do the regulation of the, this law. And it's very complicated because um, create a kind of uh, I don't know how to say it, a mess in the spaghetti in, ball. Uh, <laughs> a, a mess in the um, <laughs> sorry uh, create a mess in this. Uh, regulation of uh, the law for immigrants here. So it's very complicated now. And for uh, you have the regula regulation of the immigrant workers, it's worse because now you have a, it's more complicated to an immigrant take, for example, the uh, visa for work, and it's more difficult to the immigrant uh, receive the um, carteira de trabalho. The doc is a kind of document to work. It's like kind of green card. No, no, it's no, not green. No, no. no. Uh, work, work license. Work permit. Uh, yeah, work permit. Yeah, it's a, it's a new, work permit. It's a work permit, but it's not necessary to work. You can't work without this. But it's for formal work. You need this um, this work permit. And now it's more difficult to do. In the last, in the old law, it was difficult, but to have agreement with the Council of Migration, to in the Minister of Labor, to take it uh, for take the 
for help the immigrants to take this uh, work, work permission. Now it's more complicated and now you need to do a lot of process and online process that for immigrants is very hard to do. For example, to uh, a work visa you have to ask for the Ministry of Labor with a digital signature. It's like, I have a, a digital signature because I'm a lawyer and I need to work, but I think most of people don't have a digital signature to ask for a authorization to work. Like, it's, it's a crazy. And now it's more difficult. And if the reform on the labor law, we started to create a lot of problems. For example, of the labor law, now it's more important what is in the collective convention. Collective convention, who, who don't know, it's an agreement between the labor unions and the, how do you say, patronato? Huh? Uh, and and employ employers and companies unions because in, here in Brazil we have these two kinds of unions. And in the when you don't have this reform, uh, you have a kind of this uh, collective convention to uh, agree with uh, the minimum uh, payment for the work or to change some conditions of the uh, of the work the worker environment or to change, for example. Uh, to decide, oh, it's a domestic work, what kind of job is domestic work. This, this uh, for example, this was in this uh, collective convention. But it's not so important. If, you, if, you, if the collective convention was not uh, uh, in, uh, not uh, disrespecting the law, uh, labor law, is not valid. Now it's valid. No, it is very um, terrible because of the change of the law, uh, the unions, the labor unions, don't have more the obligation that uh, workers have to contribute to the union. So, what happens? When you, for example, if you are an engineer, you have an obligation to contribute to engineer union. If you are a, I don't know, a, a law, Lawyers know, but uh, if you are a nurse, you have to contribute. You have an obligation to contribute part of your salary to the union. Now you don't have this, and this kind of contribution contribution is very important for the unions, for the work of the unions, for the structure structure of the unions. Now the labor unions don't have less money, and the employers union and the companies union have a lot of money. So when you're gonna do this uh, collective convention, you do have a kind of unbalanced. And the worst is the collective convention is now valid like uh, the law, like the labor law. If you agree that uh, a worker can uh, work 16 hours a day in this labor uh, convention, it's allowed now because what is valid from the, for a judge for the law is the collective convention. So, and it's very difficult for immigrants because you have a kind of advance in the immigrant law that permit that uh, immigrants have some of political participation in the union because the immigrants don't have a completely political rights in Brazil because they can vote and uh, it's not uh, a complete political rights. But now they can associate, they can do uh, manifestate your uh, political point of view and they can uh, join the unions. And the unions are very, here in Brazil, it's a very important space for discussion and for defending the labor, uh, the workers' rights here in Brazil. So, if the um, imbalance in the law about co uh, collective convention, uh, immigrants <coughs> are in disadvantage because they can't have uh, so easily now the work permit, now it's more difficult, and uh, they, jo they can join the unions, but for the immigrants to get in the union, it's a very difficult process. Because you don't, have, you don't have a political in the unions to attract the immigrants for the union. It's very, it's very difficult. If you, have the if you take the data for the unions, 
you don't have a lot of immigrants in each union. You have some uh, unions like the workers of uh, civil construction that have a lot of immigrants working in that. Uh, so they <coughs> approach the immigrants to join the unions. But in other uh, works and other streets don't have this. this. And it's, uh, we like kind of, the immigrants lost a kind of space too from the, in the unions, in my point of view. And the worst of the uh, labor, labor reform is that immigrants are more, it's more uh, uh, vulnerable to accept contracts of work that is bad for them. So uh, the data of the labor, labor ministry shows that just in São Paulo, the city, the city of São Paulo, not the state, the city, this year you have almost a thousand uh, requests for uh, Again, a request from the labor minister against the employment that uh, was uh, contracting uh, immigrants in the regime of slave, uh, uh, like a slave work. Analogous business. Yes. So just this year, like almost thousand, I think it's uh, nine nine hundred thirty-two, nine hundred. 52, I don't remember the, the data. And it's very complicated. And another example that uh, difficult to have the labor uh, permission. Uh, like for Bolivian uh, women, uh, you have in just in Sao Paulo city almost 3,000 uh, Bolivian women uh, in, in Sao Paulo. And the labor permissions with the data of uh, labor ministry are like 539. So you have 539 labor uh, permissions and you have 3,000 uh, Bolivian immigrants, women immigrants here in, in Sao Paulo. So it's like, it's a problem. And uh, it more worse is for women because uh, you have uh, I participate uh, last year in a research that we have collected some data from uh, immigrant women uh, in domestic work. So you have you have it's, what's the problem uh, in Latin America? Uh, the data of the International Labor Organization that uh, of domestic uh, employ uh, employ uh, workers eight in ten. Don't, don't have a formal work contract. So in Brazil, the data that collect like uh, six in 10, just in Sao Paulo City, that's, we, we collect the data. And the more important that uh, the labor reform, they change their, the labor justice is free for every worker. So if I have a problem and I can, I, I want to complain from some, uh, my problem in the work environment, uh, I don't know, my, my employer didn't pay me, I can request by for free in the um, labor justice. Now the labor reform changed. Uh, if, he, if the labor uh, lose the law, the, the action, the, the, the sum, lose the law sum, the, the worker can maybe you pay the fees of the process. So have a action in the um, our superior court to change that, but um, it's complicated because for uh, immigrant workers uh, the law, the justice of the labor justice is very important because if the labor justice can, uh, I don't know, uh, find cases like uh, slave labor here in Brazil and you can um, you can see the abuses of the uh, employers, and it's, very, it's a kind of instrument that is very important for the immigrant, and not for just for immigrants, but for all workers, the law judges. If this uh, labor reform, we kind of um, uh, put a, a wall between the immigrants and the 
the justice and not about that the all the, the situation here in brazil now uh, and the new law and this the decret of regulation this law of regulation of the new law they put a, a wall uh, to immigrant access like pu public services to assess the regulation of, he, of their documents so I don't know how gonna be in the future, but uh, after the I agree if uh, Anselm Savio, sorry, I agree with Savio that uh, the um, uh, these elections will be very important to decide uh, what kind of country you will have, what kind of project of Brazil and society you will have, because uh, if you still doing these reforms on education, on the labor uh, law. And not just that, in other aspects of our uh, society, uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, the tendency that's going to be worse. Uh, like for immigrants, the tendency, like the case of the Venezuelans in uh, Roraima, it, uh, you'll see this uh, week a case of xenophobia. The people who live in Pacaraima, the city, uh, they put fire on the Venezuelan uh, items and things, so it's very complicated. So I don't know when, how gonna be, but sorry about my English. And uh, is this? Thank you.